This is Jasmine, and I will teach you how to make your own website on Hopscotch. First, we gotta go to Explore and How To's. When you open up How To's, you'll see that there are many templates. And in the second and third one, you'll see Benyon website and Bird website. If you scroll down, you'll also see Robo website and a whole bunch of other websites. You're going to choose one. I'll choose the Robo website template. And when you open it up, you see that there is two robots, a blue background and some polka dots and stripes. And then you see something that says home, news, projects, and about. So we're, we're going to go ahead and tap home. And you see it says this is your home page. And then when you click news, it says this is your news page. When you click projects, it says this is your projects page. And this is the exact same thing with your about page. And if you want this to be your website, then you would definitely do not want that. So we're going to click see code. And instead of name, we're going to put our hopscotch name. Don't put your real name. My hopscotch name is kittycat16, so that's what I'll put. And then you see that there's the stuff overlapping each other. The stuff your website is going to say. Go ahead and click the home page one. So now it says, this is your home page. Let's delete all of it so we can actually put stuff about us. You can put anything you want, but I'll put welcome to my own home page. And exclamation mark. Because, you know, it's exciting you have your very first home page ever. So then when you click play, all of a sudden you see, instead of name, it says Kitty Cat 16. Let me actually fix that, it's kind of low. <coughs> and then when you click home, it says welcome to my own home page, like you typed. I'm going to move that down for now, and we're going to click, this is your news page. Delete that too, and we're going to put some news that's going on. I'll put something silly. Like, Oops, it's all around. No, I'll just put it over here instead. And then you see, when you click play, it says your name still. When you click home button, it says welcome to my own home page. When you click news, it says Merry Christmas to all and to all again New Year. But then when you click projects, it still says this is your projects page. So we're going to have to change that. When you double click this is your projects page, it's going to ask you, well it doesn't actually ask you, but the meaning to the projects page is to, is to tell everyone the things that you've made. So instead, since they forgot the things that I made, here we go. I'm going to go and see the stuff that I made in public. I see that I made paddle ball. So I'll put that in there. So in the projects page, I'll delete it and put paddle ball.
That's pretty much it. So when you click play, you finally see all this cool stuff. In your home, your news, and your products page. But then you still have the about page, which is still blank. You're still going to want to change that. Move this out of the way real quick. And the about you page is stuff about you. I'm going to put. I'm turning 11 soon. And then when you click play, you finally see that it's all complete. Except it's all over the place. Because we moved it out, so we're going to have to try and fix that. There we go. In the uh, added page, it looks like a big mess, but now it looks normal. And that's your... And that is your web page. All you do is click Publish. Instead of pulling that, put your name and your website. So as I said, my name is Kitty Cat 16. And click publish. And now everyone can see it. Let's see if we can keep going. Nope. You see in your crew, if you have a crew, it's in there, first thing. Um, that's pretty much it to make your own website. Pretty quick, pretty fast, real easy.